What's up guys? It's been about two weeks since I put out the little HVAC salary myths and realities video and it's already nearing 40,000 views on YouTube. Um, it definitely struck a nerve with a lot of people. It definitely stirred up a whole bunch of questions, hundreds of questions and comments on the content of the video and a lot of questions about what types of HVAC to get into, what's best, what's not. Me personally, I work in a either commercial and then oftentimes industrial environment. My favorite personal environment are the industrial environments. I find an industrial environment to be the most exciting for me. It's often where you'll see the most unique systems and applications that are custom made for a process or a specific product that that facility is creating. I've always been fascinated with industry and manufacturing anyway. Anytime I've ever traveled anywhere, I've always tried to go on tours if they're available, seeing how products are made, seeing how things are done, and it's always just amazed me. So naturally for me, it's fitting that I get to work in industrial environments. So I got a little footage in the last week. I've been really busy, so I did get some clips here and there though, and let's go ahead and throw some of them together, give you an idea of what I've gotten to work on the last week or so give you an idea of what I encounter on a daily basis. Okay, well, I guess we're actually behind those trains is actually the facility. I don't know how I did that, but it's quite enough here. What I was trying to get at was, this is a perfect example of what I love doing. This is a facility that makes compressed logs that you, you know the ones you sit on, you light the paper, you get your little one hour fire in the fireplace. And I got to help work on this equipment today that helped with the process that cools that mixture of the sawdust and the wax when it's in those big tumblers you saw and it's got to get kept cool so they have a custom refrigeration slash dx type unit frankenstein together on a skid and it's exciting to work on you know they're all different and unique and at the end of the day where a residential guy gets the satisfaction of helping a family stay warm through the night i get the satisfaction of keeping a process like this going that's a, that allows them to keep up with their production and keep the products coming out. I will point out that place smells absolutely horrible though. In fact, I'm pretty sure if I didn't know it was made out of sawdust, I would swear it was made of powder. Fecal matter. Settles and the fine is done. a battle, but an all-out war. I only want us going back to how we were before. So Alright, so now that we're back here, let's get a little bit back into the Seriously guys, this place, that place smelled freaking disgusting, right? I gotta get back out much better. So that was just this last Thursday or Friday I was there. Earlier in the week, I was over at another facility that actually made hard hats and I did a compressor change out on a reciprocating chiller and uh, another job that I love doing. Um, some of the big heavy stuff like that, I enjoy it because you actually, just by the nature of the rigging and the 
safety involved in the procedures, you're actually given the time you really need to do the job. You can't rush this type of stuff the way you'll see on other types of equipment. So it gives you the chance to do it as good as you can, to do it as thorough as you can, and do it safely, the right way, the first time. Before that, I spent time at a shutdown at a chemical plant on the other side of the state and just did a bunch of odds and ends. Some of these humongous open drive compressors for some of these brine chillers. I was able to pull apart the couplings on the shafts between the gearbox and the motor and the gearbox and the compressor itself. And check your clearances, your lift and thrust with dial indicators, things like that. Stuff I love to get a chance to do. I don't get to do that every day, but I always enjoy it when I can. And the thing about this industrial work is it's limited to what's in your area as far as what you'll know and see. You'll never know at all because most of the time this stuff is custom made. It's a one-time build for that process or for that facility. So it's always exciting to go to a new plant because you're guaranteed to see something you've never seen before or done in a way you've never seen done before. So that's just kind of the stuff I love doing. But again, there's so much more in this trade that you can do that's exciting. You know, Refrigeration is something I don't do a whole lot of, at least in the sense that most people think of. I don't do any restaurant work, I don't do any environmental chambers, things like that, but I think that would be awesome to do. Residential is something that I don't do really any of, but I have a huge amount of respect for the guys that either own companies doing residential or choose to be the best they can at it because oftentimes those guys or gals have to wear so many more hats than I do on a regular basis because they're doing everything from the beginning, from design, implementation, load calculations in addition to the installation and service of all that equipment usually i don't have to worry about that first half it's already done for me my work is much more compartmentalized usually involving engineers so a lot of times i'm just doing what's on the specs so as i said there's so much to be done in the trade so much different things you can never know it all I've been thinking it'd be really cool on this channel to be able to try to highlight those different areas, um, not to show one being better than the other, but just to show the ups and downs and kind of the way that they all look and feel and guys can make their own determinations based off that. So I've already talked to a few people and I'm going to be starting to, when I get some time, travel to some of these other guys around my area of the country and try to document some of what they do if it's different than what I do. Um, you know, something that's unique, something that shows another side, another angle, and show them in their element so you can see firsthand what it takes to do what they do and if it's something that you'd want to do. So that's really about it, guys. I showed you a little footage from my last week on the job. We talked a little bit about the different areas and what I hope to do with the channel as far as highlighting different facets of the trade by actually going out to see somebody that's doing it on a daily basis. Stay tuned for all that. And guys, by the way, I mentioned Facebook a few weeks ago, which I hate, by the way. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna keep the page. I just find myself despising Facebook more and more as every day goes on. That said, I do have an Instagram account. I don't know how many are on Instagram, but there actually is a huge HVAC community on Instagram. I find it much more positive community and you just get to show the pictures of things you're doing every day. And there's a lot more little micro content that I'm trying to throw on there that really doesn't necessarily cut it to make a YouTube video, but it's still a cool little, you know, 30 second clip of something or just some cool photos. I'm getting more into photography and trying to show the art and what we do. So if you're on Instagram or you want to start an Instagram, go ahead and check me out. It's AKHVAC. Hope to see you on there. And with that, guys, stay tuned for some more reviews in the coming weeks, some other videos, such and such. We'll see you on the next one.